And people all over the country are honoring Falls County Deputy Matt Jones, who died in the line of duty Friday. He and Riesel Police Chief Danny Crumnow were hit by a car on State Highway 6 near County Road 190. Jones was pronounced dead at the scene and Crumnow remains in the hospital. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is in studio tonight with more details on these funeral arrangements for Jones. Jasmine. Well, Chris and Leslie, Deputy Jones funeral is this Friday at 11 a.m. at First Woodway Baptist Church in Woodway. Now, I was told that officers from all over the state will be there. Now, from California to Florida, kids as young as 10 are finding their way to honor Deputy Jones by running a mile. Jones and Riesel police Police Chief Danny Crum now were helping a driver when they were hit by a car that was believed to have hydroplane. Today, Central Texas law enforcement are wearing mourning badges in honor of their fallen brother. Uh, we don't look at it as an officer in another county. We look at it as we've lost a brother. And whether he worked right here at Waco Police Department or whether he works in another agency or even in another state, um, that's still a piece of us that is gone and uh, we're gonna do what we can to honor and, and respect him. Now, as I said earlier, officers from across the state and even the country will be at this funeral on Friday. Now, Joan's wife told, told Waco police that she would like to thank everyone who reached out to her and is very appreciative of what the community is doing. Now, as for Riso Police Chief Danny Crum now, he still has a way to go. His family has been told that he is looking at multiple surgeries, but won't be able to undergo them until he regains his strength. Chris and Leslie. Yeah, yeah we wish him the best. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Jasmine, live in studio. And in the midst of this tragedy, there is a way you at home can help both of these families. The 100 Club Heart of Texas is collecting donations for De Deputy Matt Jones and Chief Danny Cromnow's families following that accident last week. Six News reporter Cole Johnson joins us now. Cole, what do we know about this organization? Chris and Leslie, the group supports the families of first responders who lost their lives in the line of duty. There are multiple ways you can help the families while they're dealing with the death of Deputy Jones and Chief Cromnow's injuries. There are three different avenues for you at home to be able to donate. First, you can go to 100clubhot.com. There's a donate button at the top of the page where you can choose a family, if not both, you would like to support. Second, you can go to any branch of the First National Bank of Central Texas online. We're going to have a map of all of those locations. You can go starting tomorrow because today is a banking holiday. You can also mail in any donations to the address on your screen, 100 Club Heart of Texas PO Box 21990, Waco, Texas, zip code 76702. Now, I spoke with the executive director of the club. She says they're assessing the family's needs minute by minute as they work through this tragedy. It's very, very important that we allow them um, their space, allow them their uh, grief, their, their medical recovery. It's going to be a long time. And so we still need to be there for those families and, and watch after them. They watch after us. We need to watch after them. Now, they say they're going to let the funds accumulate a bit and present the checks to the families later on. We're going to have the links to donate to the families online at KCNTV.com after this newscast. Chris and Leslie. All right. Thank you so much, Cole. We're thinking about those families for sure. So much to go through.